What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder for Series 9. And ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a banger of a team to show off for you guys today. Today, we have ourselves a weakness policy Metagross team alongside with Latias and Life Orb Tapu Fini. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smash that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out across the channel. But rocking out on this team is a Pokemon that maybe I used before, maybe I haven't, but I haven't used him in a while. I know that for a fact. That is going to be Latias. Getting started with him in the top left corner, you got Levitate as its ability, the Culver Berry as its item, and this Pokemon can set up Tailwind. We have Mystical Fire for a special attack drop. Ally Switch to protect ally Pokemon and Bulldoze to slow down Pokemon and proc our Metagross's weakness policy. Next to him, we got Metagross Steel and Psychic type, clear body so his stats can't be changed. Weakness policy as his item, like I just mentioned. Iron Head for stab, Ice Punch, EQ, and protect as his other three moves. Normal moveset, but this Pokemon is phenomenal, especially once you get that weakness policy proc. Middle left is going to be Regid Lecky with Transistor ability, Magnet as its item, and then that normal moveset for him with that Thunderbolt, Electro Web, Thunder Wave to paralyze, and protect. Middle right is going to be Urshfu, another great Pokemon that works well on any single team. Unseen Fish, Choice Band to help do a little bit more damage. Then we got Wicked Blow, Close Combat, Poison Jab for our coverage move, and Sucker Punch for first turn priority. Bottom left is going to be another Tailwind Pokemon, just in case we don't want to go into the Latias and Metagross combo. We have Wimscott to set up that Tailwind. We have Prankster Ability, the Focus Ash so it doesn't get one tap, Moon Blast for stab, Tailwind to double speed, Charm to lower physical attack, and Fake Tears to lower special defense. Final Pokemon is going to be Tapu Fini, our other great attacker for this team, with that Misty Surge and that Life Orb to help it do more damage, and then that amazing moveset for this thing with Muddy Water, Moon Blast, Ice Beam, and Protect. This team, I saw it, I was like, yo, I gotta get after it. It looks very, very fun, and it looks a little off-meta, because you guys know I like to use off-meta, because a lot of the teams right now are just the same. Like, I was looking at all the rental codes I have, and a lot of them are like, oh, we can use the uh, horses, we can use Charizard Venusaur combo, we can use Zapdos, like, all of them look the same, but this one feels like it's fresh and brand new. But guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, the rental code is at the bottom of the screen. Let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with this weakness policy, Metagross, and Latias team. I woke up today ready to record Pokemon Sword Shield. I don't know, I've been having a lot of fun playing this game recently. It feels fresh, it feels brand new once again, but I feel like I get this kick once every couple months, but we're here, hopping into battle number one. We're going up against one of my favorite kinds of teams, and that is a Sand Rush x team. He also has Incineroar, Tyranitar to set the Sandstream, Zapdos, who is a heavy meta Pokemon right now, Tokus, and Milotic. You guys also have to let me know for question of the day. This is a good one, so definitely let me know in the comment section down below. What Pokemon would you guys like to see me do a video on, or like build a team around, or just have him in a video? Because I would really like to know your guys' answers so I can possibly give you guys those up Pokemons for the videos. But like I said, we're going up against the Sandstorm team, and I think I gotta take Tailwind advantage and roll out after this. I might go, ooh, do I even go Metagross here? Do I even go Metagross? I might go Tapu Fini over Metagross. Because I can Charm with this Tailwind right here. And then I can change Weather up here as well. But then he does have Zapdos, which I don't really like Zapdos either. I'm going to bring Urshfu 100%, and then I think Regilecki. Or do I just bring Metagross as like a nice little back-end Pokemon? Regilecki's not bad, though. That's the thing. He's really not bad. So I am going to bring him in here as my final mod and get rolling after that. I really want to show off the Latias and uh, Metagross combo right off the rip, but... Tapu Fini just works way better here. It really does. So I'd rather go into Tapu Fini with Wimscott and roll out from there. I do wonder who he's going to lead. If he leads that Zapdos, then I'm like, eh, I don't really know what to do. But if he leads that uh, extra combo, I, I'm kind of like where we're sitting. Let's see. Cinnamor and extra. Okay, I'm totally fine with that. Uh, so he can fake out. That is a possibility. He can fake out here. Uh, what do I do? Do I Dynamax right off the rip? I could Dynamax. I do have that lovely little Misty Surge going out here. I'm thinking of Dynamax, but then at the same time, I'm thinking of not. Let's see, what do I do? He might parting shot on me. I try to Tailwind, and I think I'm just going to protect this turn. And that's really a parting shot to come out here. Let's just see what he does. Let's just see what he does. He could fake out. He could try to go for my top of any. I really am curious to see what he's going to do. He's going to Dynamax right off the rip. Okay. He's going to send his Dynamax. Totally fine by me. Send it. Send it with your extra drill. Do it. I dare you. There he goes to the extra drill. He, he's not swapping T-Tar just yet. He's waiting for me to switch up weather. Go for a Steel Spike. Um, I really do wonder what he's going to go for. Hopefully I can get off this Tailwind. That could be a pretty nice Tailwind here. 
Check comes out from the top of Finny. And I think the fake out's gonna come across. Let's see. Yep, here comes fake out over onto Wimscott. And are you gonna double down onto me? Let's see. I'm gonna go for a steal spike. Go into the top of Finny, please. Yep, goes into my top of Finny. We're able to eat that up just fine. And then I go into a tailwind next turn. And do I change up weather? I could potentially take out Incineroar here. Which I think I'm gonna do. Or I could just charm. I think I am just gonna charm extra drill, minus two that thing, and then just drop a geyser here and go after this Incineroar. That's gonna be my play. That is gonna be my play. We're not gonna set up Tailwind just yet. I can set it up next turn because I don't think anyone's gonna be able to take out my uh my women's got. Especially if I get off uh which do I outspeed that Incineroar? That's my real question. That's your boy's real question. I'm gonna withdraw the Incineroar and go into Zapdos. Okay, you're gonna go into Zapdos. I am going to throw a geyser after that thing. Try to get after him. And a charm is going to come after him. This, uh... But I, I am liking what we're saying. He might go for another steel spike. But I really do like what we're saying. Because we're going to put this thing down to minus two on the physical attack. Which is huge. For his Dynamax Pokemon. And now I got to get rid of that Zapdos. 100%. But I'm going to charm this turn. I'm going to tailwind next turn. And then see where we go from there. Charm comes out here. Minus two. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. I thought he was going to withdraw to the Tyranitar more so than the Zapdos. But, you know, we take those. Maybe he thought I was going after X Drill and he can get a free swap. But nah. We're getting after the slot. And we do good damage on that slot. We do really good damage. Okay, my real question is do I even go for a. Uh, we know he outspeed the X Drill. And I know my Wimscott can outspeed the Zapdos. But he does go after my Wimscott. That's just going to take him out. Um, I think I'm just going to bring out my. What's it called? I think I'm just gonna bring out my uh my Urshifu here. I could bring out Regilecki. No, uh, not Regilecki just yet. I'm thinking about bringing out Urshifu and just choice banning into a Sucker Punch. I mean, what's my speed really at? A real question. 163, which isn't too bad. I'm not Sash though. I don't want to save my Urshifu here. I really do want to save my Urshifu. I'm going to bring out Regilecki. He can't go for that special defense boost. I am going to... Uh, I'm going to just drop a Thunderbolt. Right, that might be play. Go for that Thunderbolt, and then hopefully this uh, Geyser can take this thing down. He could be Sash, though. That's what item I'm thinking he is. I'm going to roll out with another Geyser. We do have another turn in Dynamax when he won't. Again, he's minus two, though, which is huge. And Regilecki should be able to outspeed and finish off that Zapdos, no problem. I really want to bring out my Urshu, but since he was choice ban, I kind of want to save him for back end. He does have Incineroar, which I think I can just uh, clap on real quick. No problem. And I don't want him just going into that. Oh, you, you buttery biscuit. Actually, that's that's a fine turn. I'll take that turn. Because we're going to take you out here. Because Zapdos is gone, and now who are you going to bring in, in here? Probably Incineroar back out. Yeah, he's probably going to bring Incineroar back out, which I'm fine with. I have one more turn in Dynamax, so I'm pretty much going to guarantee a KO here. Unless he changes up weather. Yep, there's the weather change. Okay, so weather change is coming out here. Um, Sandstream is popping. He's probably going to protect into an EQ. Which I can protect as well. Don't I have protect on him? Don't I have protect on my boy Regilecki? Is exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna protect him and I'm just gonna drop a geyser and change up this weather once again and get after this X control. I think that's gonna be play. Maybe I should have went after a T Tar, but T Tar could be policy. But I think a protect EQ is coming out here from somebody, right? Yeah. No, that's my protect. <laughs> I was like, yeah, he protected. Let's see what he's doing. He protecting as well? He is, yeah. There's a protect from the T Tar. Good call by me. Trying to get that read off there. EQ is gonna come out here. And top of finish should be able to eat up all day. So we get that. He's gonna do that. Easy eats. Easy eats, and we keep uh keep Regilecki alive for another turn. This is a solid battle. It's a real solid battle. There goes that. Is he sashed? He's not sashed. What item was he? What item was he this whole time? Policy? Maybe? We change up the weather again. 
I am liking this weather right here. You guys have a fake out coming in for me. So I'm either going to... I might protect my top of Finny. Because I think the fake out's going to come in for my top of Finny, right? Right? I'm thinking that. I'm thinking that. And we still, again, we still have Urshfu in the back, which is great. Which is really good. Because Urshfu outspeeds both of these guys. I can choice into a close combat. And I'm going to slow the um, enemy's Pokemon. Um, do I Thunder Wave? Do I Thunderbolt? I think I'm just going to E-Web here. And I think I'm just going to protect Finny. I think the fake out's gonna come across to the Finny, and he's gonna try to get after me like that. So if I can get this E Web off, protect, cancel out that fake out, I think we can roll out from here. Like I just need one Muddy Water off. But I already know the like Muddy Water's gonna miss. <laughs> like we already know this. Yo, you boys been playing pretty good on the rank ladder. I've been liking this. I've been really enjoying playing Pokemon Sword and Shield and recording it for you guys. Here's my protect. Fake out comes out. Yo, your boy's making some reads today. He's making some reads right off the rip. E Web comes out. We get that slowdown on both these guys, which is wonderful. Do a decent amount of damage here as well. And I wonder what Tyrantar's going after. Maybe an EQ? No, no shot. He's gonna go for a rock slide. That's fine. Much like he might be able to eat up, but he kinda already did his job, so I don't mind if he goes down. Let's see. Nope, he eats up all day. He eats up all day. Terrain leaves. Muddy waters. We're gonna be able to outspeed all day, and we might be able to pick up a double KO here in this range. I think this should be GG. Two double hitting moves, super effective stab, life orb, and rain damage. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Yo, outplayed this guy. Big read on the EQ. Big read on that fake out right there. Because that fake out, I think, was like his last little little life of hope. Little line of hope there. And Rantar's gonna protect now. Yo, I'm totally fine with that, Tyrantar. You can protect. You have comes out here. Just gonna hit the instant or Like his protects don't really do anything when I'm when I'm using these moves. Because they're double hitting. It's like we're getting after both your Pokemon. And yo, that brings him down to a perfect HP. Considering he's like low green, but he's not enough to trigger a citrus berry. And now this should, we should be able to pick up the KO on this thing. Get him out of here. Get him out of my face. Get him gone. 3v1 now we're sitting at you. This is easy. This is easy wins right here. Plus we got the boy Urshfu in the back. Like he can take out both these Pokemon. And then Urshfu would just come in here and close combat him on whatever HP. Even if he was Dynamax be game over there goes that and then a muddy water actually would moon blast you more no muddy water muddy water just because we have the rain we'll do a little bit more he canceled the battle and gg we start off this today's video one and oh and grab ourselves a win second battle coming at you guys we played amazing in that first battle made some good reads but we didn't get to show off that metagross combo so we're going to be doing it in this video just the other combo the whimscott and the top of finny worked out so well for us and i knew it was going to work well that's why we went into it but we're going up against a cabalion team alongside with galarian moltres dragapult incinemore whimscott and regilecki we're going into latias and metagross combo getting that off trying to shut it off and we're gonna go urshfu and i think tapu finny as our final pokemon right yeah, I really do like where Tapu Finney sits in, uh, up against these guys. But I'm going to bring him in, and we're going to get rocking out from there. But guys, if you are not subscribed to this channel, what are you doing? I was looking at my analytics a little bit ago, and about 50% of our viewers are not subscribed. So if that's one of you guys, support the channel. It makes things easier for you guys. I'll show up in your guys' feed, so you guys don't have to uh, search for my videos. I'll just show up in your subscription feed, and it supports me as a content creator. So it really does go a long way. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It really does go a long way. And if you guys have not checked out my sponsorship, it is a brand called Into the AM. It is a men's clothing brand. If you guys are looking for new summer clothes and new outfits for all occasions, whenever you're going out or just chilling at home, there's a link down in the description below. Use that link to get 10% off of any of your guys' purchases. It supports me, and it's awesome clothing because quality is absolutely amazing. So link is legit down in the description below. Go check it out. Decent prices for the quality of the uh, product. So definitely go down there, check it out, and support your boy. But we're getting started here. Um, He is going to go for a beat-up. But I honestly might go for a guard into a bulldoze. No, I cannot guard into Bulldoze. I think I'm just going to Dynamax and eat whatever he has to offer. Maybe just Quake. I could Steel Spike here as well to get a defense boost. He is Steel. I don't think I'm just going here into here. Hmm. Right, he's going to beat up. I'm going to go into this. It's going to be my play. That's going to be my play here. The Cabalion is posing such a big threat. He's going to Dynamax yeah. He's going to go for that beat up. Um, what is he going to go... What's he going to do here? So he has Steel, which I can eat up. He's Steel and Fighting, right? 
think he's still fighting, which fighting is super effective, but the max knuckle, I just don't see it like bopping me down. Actually, it could if it beat up. But maybe, just maybe, well, Ladio should be able to outspeed the Cabalion, and we should be able to get off a Tailwind, but I don't know if a Quake's gonna be able to take it out, even if we're policy prop. That's my problem. Because the Bulldoze will put it to minus one, maybe making the Metagross outspeed? We'll see. We shall see! Get it, Metagross. Get it. Let's get after it. Let's get after it. Let's do it. Zoom dirty. There goes that beat up. Whoa. Whoa, I did not see that one coming. <laughs> Justifies gets popping. He's going to go up plus four on attack board. And he's going to try to roll strong from here. Which I, I like, Ladio should be, or Ladia should be able to outspeed. It would be dandy candy. Go ahead, keep hitting him. Is this thing orbed? I wonder what item it's holding. What item does it usually hold? It usually doesn't hold the orb. It usually holds something else. Maybe a soul vest? I forget, when I used to use Cobalion, I forget what item we sold. Usually a berry sometimes. Let's see what happens here. Here goes the bulldoze. We do outspeed. There's no way it's policy if it's justified. That'd be ridiculous. <laughs> like, there's, there would be no point. It's just a waste of an item. I see a assault vest being on it. Here goes the speed drops on everybody, which is dandy. Now Metagross, outspeed him. Do him dirty. Tell him to get out of here. Metagross does outspeed now. Come on, give me the KO. I don't think we're going to be able to pick up KO, but we'll see. Oh my lord! What you mean? Yo, that was so close. That would have been GG's. That would have been game over. That would have been game over. He's gonna go for a knuckle. I think it's gonna be able to take me out. That's scary. No, we do eat. We do eat and we do outspeed at this point. Okay, so what's the play here? Life Orb almost takes that thing out. Get out of my face. Life Orb almost takes that thing out. And I don't know if I have to go for a Tailwind here. Cause he's got a tailwind. He's minus one. Let's see a Latias' speed. I don't know if I should go for a tailwind here. Let me see this thing's speed. I think I am going to guard. I think I'm going to guard here. And let him tailwind. I think I'm just gonna guard. I think it's a tailwind from him. I don't think he's gonna read the guard. Yeah, he does not read the guard. Awesome. We can take him out. I can tailwind next turn, and I can take out the one we got here as well. So nice play by your boy. Your boy. He's feeling real good. Feeling real good. Okay, uh, definitely tailwind. Oh, he might be able to outspeed me now. Cause I don't. It's I'm not a prankster Pokemon. I'm not a prankster Pokemon. Let's see who he's gonna bring out here. Who's his next one? It's gonna be Galarian Moltres. And let's go for an ally switch. We might just Fire Wrath. I, I want to get off the same. I do want to drop a Steel Spike. I would love to get that defense boost, but I might just go for the buffets here. Hmm. Either one's gonna KO, but I wanna make sure I get the KO. I'm gonna get it first Glary Moltres. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. Fiery Wrath comes out here. Who dodged it? Oh no, my, my berry's coming out here, which is lovely. My lovely little berry. Metagross should go down here. I don't like. Metagross, no! Oh, berry weakens the damage. And I think he's just gonna drop a fairy. Hopefully, I get off, if I get off the sail one, we can be sitting decent here. Let's see what happens here. As a comes out, eat it up. Ladia, say that. Yo, that's tasty. Oh, that's real tasty for you. Tailwind's popping. I'm going to get out my boy Regilecki. I'm going to get out my boy Regilecki. Right? Regilecki's fight. Oh, no. We don't have Regilecki. We have Tapu, though. Tapu's really nice here. I am going to bring out Tapu. I'm going to be able to throw Moonblast left and right onto that, uh, that Galarian bird over there. And the Misty Surge is popping. Okay. What is play now? Straight up Moonblast, I could protect, but put Alice Switch here as well. I'm just gonna drop a Mystical Fire. I'm just gonna Moonblast over into this bird. This dang Galarian Moltres. Such a good Pokemon. I think all the Galarian birds are phenomenal. Mystical Fire is gonna drop out here, do some damage on him, and drop Special Attack, which is huge. Special Attack, yeah, 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 yeah. And we do outspeed. This 
Could potentially pick up KO. Life orb damage. Stab. So close. Yet so far. Now Berserk's popping. Oh my lord. Uh, Latias gonna go down here to Fiery Wrath, and I think another Gleam's gonna pop out here. This thing's rocking a berry too. This thing plays no games. But it's good to know we outspeed him. That's good to know. Here goes Fiery Wrath. Latias is dead. Oh, Latias is not dead, but I think Gleam's gonna come out here. Let's see what happens here. Gleam's gonna come out here and pick up KO. Dang, dude, Latias is tanking. He's tanking, probably because I have special defense boost. Okay, um. I do like where we're sitting. I kind of, I'm, I'm digging this. We do have poison jab, but I really got a choice into a move that I, I really like. It's probably going to be Wicked Blow. I am going to be able to Moon Blast here. I think Wicked Blow is still the play. Like, who could your last Pokemon be? Dragapult? It's Dragapult or Regilecki. So I am going to choice into a Wicked Blow because I think Wicked Blow could be able to pick up KO on the U. And then this Moon Blast, 100%, we're going to outspeed, be able to pick up the KO on that. And he's going to protect there. Yo, Unseen Fist coming through to protect here. Run it. Run it. Right through to protect. Love this ability. Love the ability. We do pick up the KO. Get it out of my face. I think Dragapult is going to be the last Pokemon. And his Tailwind should end next turn. Dude, why have I been playing so good on the rank ladder? I don't know why. I've just been playing really good. Making some good calls. Making some good reads here as well. I just feel like like some days I'm really like thinking a lot more. When I think a lot more, I play so much better. But sometimes I'll just uh just like click on a move and go into it. But like when I actually sit down and think about the possibilities of what they could do, I play so much better. I make better calls. But Regilecki is gonna be the final mon. Um, I think we do outspeed this thing. He's not gonna kill my Urshifu one shot anyway. I'm just gonna drop a Moon Blast. We do have Tailwind advantage, but he still might outspeed my top Affinity. We'll see. Look at Blow comes out here. Get him out of my game. Get him out of my face. Let's see. This is KO. It does. Get him out of my game. Urshfu coming in clutch once again. We dominate this battle. Go 2-0. Guarantee yourselves that winning record. And now we can hop into our third and look for that perfect record. Hopping into our third and final battle. And I'm actually scared for this one. Considering this guy has a belly jump Snorlax team. And for some reason, when they lead that belly jump Snorlax, I always lose. I don't know what it is. But he also has the Dust Cloth and Saka Taka Trick Room combo alongside with Indeedee. Indeed, he really pairs up with that Snorlax because he's going to go for that final main roll from there. He also has Top of Finny and Entei. But I'm really, like, confused on how I should go ahead after this. I think the Metagross combo is going to work best for us. I really do. I think that's going to work best for us. I think Urshfu has to come into this back end. If he goes Trick Room, I just won't set up a Tailwind. And I'll just start Bulldozing the roll from there. And then my final Pokemon, I think we're going to take Tapu Finny. Tapu Finny is probably your best bet. The so same squad as last time. Which I really do dig. I don't mind it at all. But again, I, I like just something about the belly jump Snorlax combo really gets me every single time. But yo, first two battles were fire. Those were awesome battles. I seriously hope you guys do enjoy the content that I bring. I try to grind out content for you guys every day. So really, if you do enjoy it. Make sure you smash that like button for me. It really does go a long way. Helps my channel out and helps me out as a content creator. But let's see. Who are you leading? Let me see. There it is. There it is. All right. So this combo, I really want to get a defense boost here. And I don't think I'm going to tailwind. I think I'm just going to bulldoze, proc my policy, Dynamax, and get after it that way. I think he does. He probably is rocking Max Quake. He's going to get the special defense boost, which I'm totally fine with. Totally fine with that special defense boost. You're physical. I, I am going to Dynamax, and I am going to Max Steel Spike. Try to get after you, but I think a follow me is going to come out here. But I'm still going to bulldoze. I'm still going to bulldoze, proc policy, slow down both those Pokemon. But he's probably going to follow me into a uh, belly jump. So in that case, we'll slow it down. We will proc our policy. We are going to get a defense boost. And we're going to get after it that way. And then I'm going to ally switch. That's what I'm going to do. That is exactly what I'm going to do. We're going to make sure that's going to work. Because if he, say he follows me here. I bulldoze, I proc policy, I take out oh, uh, Indeed easily. Yeah, there's follow me. He's going to belly jump. We're gonna get the defense boost. We're gonna be plus two. I'm gonna ally switch and get after that Snorlax. That's gonna be my play. Here goes my bulldoze. Run it. Run it. What you want? We're coming after you. And we still have Urshfu in the back. We can close combat and hit that Snorlax very, very hard. There's my policy prop. There's the drops. He's totally belly drumming. Like, you can see us. Like, once you see a Snorlax, you know he's belly drumming. There goes my seal spike. Gotta pick up the carry. We do. Beautiful. Get that thing out my game. Defense boost for the squad. And, um, Snorlax gonna belly jump. No way he, he's gonna read me going for the Alice. 
I need to get out of my game. There's a drum full of bellies. Don't, 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 don't. I remember when I was a kid, I was like, yo, why would I ever use this move? Because I didn't really, like, think about stat boosts and everything. Like, I was just playing Pokemon to play Pokemon. Granted, I was, like, six at this time. I was just like, dude, like, what the, what does Belly Drum do? Like, Belly Drum is the worst move in all of Pokemon. And, like, when I was doing, like, uh, even when you do, like, uh, normal playthroughs, when you're not building, like, competitive teams, you don't ever use, like, the moves that, like, like, you, you, you never use Tailwind in, like, uh, if you're going up against a gym move. Like, your Pokemon are already up speed, and usually a higher level anyway. Your Pokemon just have awesome attack moves and the rocket out from there. But he goes into here, and is he gonna go for an ally switch? Or is he gonna go for a trick room? He might guard and go into a trick room. That is a possibility. That is a possibility, but I'm thinking of just making a smart play and going into you. I don't see you guarding. I'm gonna ally switch. I mean, now he's throwing me a curveball with that. He can guard and he can go into a trick room. But I think he's just going to go straight into a, uh, like a quake. And I do have levitate. That would be nice. I think he's going to quake. Into my Metagross slide. And we're going to slide over for levitate. And I think he's going to trick him. I don't think he's going to guard. Let's see what he does. He does, dude. And I read that, too. And I read that all day. I read it all day. Wow. Wow, dude, that would have been an amazing read. Just go straight after that dust box. I even said that. I just went with a simple play. That's rough news. I'm gonna ally switch again. I'm gonna ally switch again. I don't think he reads the ally switch. Let's go into the steel spike. Would have been a big read for me. Let's see what he does here. Alice switch comes out. We're popping this thing. Does he read a double Alice switch? Let's see what he does. And she comes through. I don't think he read the Alice switch. Did he? He might actually Let's see who goes after. Okay, I think he was going after Lottie Oz. Cause that's not very effective. I think he. I think. And he didn't get the berry. Yo, that's huge. That's huge. Pick up KO. No, this thing is way too bulky. <laughs> this thing is so bulky. Uh, do I Alice switch? I think I'm going to ally switch again. Because, like, in his head, I think he's thinking, like, yo, there's no way he ally switches three times in a row. Right? I think that's what he's thinking. Go for his iron head. Yeah, let's go for the iron head. And then just ally switch again. He's going to go for a replenish, and he's going to get this berry next turn. This is going to be his last time next turn. I do have Sucker Punch rocking with my Pokemon. Let's see what he does. But, dude, that Trick Room might just win the game. And I even said that. I was like, dude, that's like another possibility. Here's the Nightshade. See what he does here. He's going to go for the Plenish again. He's going to go for the Darkness. Over into... There he goes. Eat up, Maddie. Nope. I think he read it. I think he read it. There's my drop. Okay. He does get a Berry, which is good. So we keep him at low HP. We do keep him at low HP. I could bring out Finny, but I think Finny's going to be a nice little back-end Pokemon. Alright, let's see what we can do from here. Let's see what we're going to do from here. Do I suck a punch up on the Snorlax? Hmm. I'm going to ally switch again. I ally switch, I'd rather choice into a wicked blow instead of a sucker punch. I think that's a way better play. He's thinking, he's thinking hard. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep throwing him curveballs. I'm just gonna keep having him or like keep throwing ally switches and see what he thinks of it. There goes a nightshade into there. Gotta hit my Latias. My horsepower comes through. Yes. Levitate comes out here. Wicked blow should be able to take you out. And we did choice into an awesome move here. We get rid of the Snorlax, we choice into a great move here. Way better than the Sucker Punch, because I was planning on doing the Sucker Punch, but no. Wicked Blow is way better at me the right call there. So legit, I'm just throwing him curveballs left and right. He does not know if I'm going to ally switch or not, because that's, what was that, four or three ally switches in a row? We're just throwing him left and right. I don't think I'm going to do it this, this turn. I wonder who his final Pokemon is, though. Is it someone who's thriving in Trick Room, like Sakataka? 
Because there's somebody outside of it. It's going to be Entei. We got Tapu. We got Tapu in the back. I'm going to wake up low, go after this. And then... My turn's left in Trick Room. I'm just going to double up into you. Got to get rid of this cops. Not even throw an ally switch and see what he does. There's Nice Shade. Gonna go right there. Thinking I'm maybe thinking I'm ally switching. Look at Blow comes through. Oh, we do outspeed that thing. That's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. And we get the mystical fire coming out here to pick up that KO. Unless Entei's gonna throw something hard at me. Here's the flamethrower. Totally fine. We should be able to eat that. Awesome. Awesome, yo, dude. Latias is actually tanky. Surprisingly. Mystical fire comes out here and yo. Give it to me. Perfect record for you guys. Perfect record for you guys. This one's guaranteed. Run it. And we beat a belly drum Snorlax, which is hype. I haven't did that in a good bit. Haven't did that in a good bit. Over choice banning. He's just going to quit here. We're not even going to have to bring out Tapu Finney. But we actually made some really good calls there. We would have made an amazing read. We actually said it if we would have went after that Dust Cops because we said she was possibly going to guard and go in the trick room. But, hey, that works out. It's fine. We still pick up the win. All that good stuff. But that would have been an awesome read for us. That would have been hands down amazing read. If we would have just dumped on the Dust Cops, have him guard. Would have been one of my greatest battles ever. But he snarls. Takes out my Latios. It's no big deal. Wicked Blow is going to come out here. Do some big damage. Potentially pick up the KO. If not, we have Tapu Finney with that Life Orb in the back. GG's, man. Three perfect battles in a row. Dude, we are running this. We were running today. Like, all these battles, they're not, like, really, like, coming out on the wire. We're just out playing and out battling our opponent so hard. So hard. All amazing battles. Pick up that KO there. Get that third and final battle win. And collect that perfect record for today's video. This team right here is phenomenal. So much to do with it, and it works so well up against opponents. We had that Latias and Wimscott, both for Tailwinds and different setups for Pokemon. We used that Latias to play with the Metagross, and we used that Wimscott to go with the top of Finny. I'm glad we got to show off both those combos and roll out and get some victories for you guys. And we also got to show off Regilecki and Urshfu being used as front-end or back-end Pokemon. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.